Alex has sort of come to see the power of his own story as it impacts uh, you know, audiences of young people. Because, you know, he's been through it all. You know, as you can see, he's been shot and he's blind and stuff. And he was still active while he was, you know, blind at the time. So I'm pretty sure people hear his story, they'll, it'll spark a mind for a change. Want to know what's up with the Lomas? You guys are welcome to come to my barrio. Once again, it's my name is Downer from Barrio Las Lomas. It was just for thrill. I didn't try to be somebody. I'm who you see in front of you. I didn't run from that guy with the gun on my face because I had a, you know, I had to believe at that time it was do or die for your gang. And I really was loyal to my gang that I, I actually give my life and my vision for my, for my gang. Alex was shot several times in the head, neck, and shoulders as he approached a rival gang member's vehicle. He just recently had the bullets removed, but as a result of his injuries, he lost his vision, has a permanent lean, and pain in his back. Alex is now a mentor and motivational speaker for Homeboy Industries, but before he became inactive, he continued the gang life for 13 more years. Out of those 21 years, I was gang banging completely blind for 13 years, so um, I know my area, like, put it this, I'll jump off the car and I just start ro running towards them and I can't see nothing, but I feel these, I feel like, I felt like the, the fear in these people running from me and that's the rush that I loved. I mean, my addiction is gangbanging, my other addiction is uh, selling drugs. The reason I, I stopped um, being an active gang member is um, the bullshit in, in the county jail and state prison. These guys came at, came at me talking about, you know what, you can't gangbang in your own enemies no more. To be honest with you, you know what, that shit hurt me more than me losing my vision for my barrio. And that's the reason that I changed my life around. Because I'll be very stupid to get come out of the county, pick up another gun, and go shoot at my enemies, and then get locked up, and all these fools trying to tell me that I can't rush them in jail. It's like, man, all this damn time I did in, in juvenile hall, it was a waste of time. It was a waste of time. Father Greg Boyle at Homeboys offered Alex a job and a way out two years ago. Certainly has managed to take his own experience and, and transform it into, uh, you know, sort of a, he's an enlightened witness, somebody who can uh, reflect back to people the truth of who they are based on his own ordeals and uh, his own journey. So he, he's a very valuable member of our team here. Uh, kids usually outside this place uh, are kind of wobblers, folks who are on, on the fence in terms of getting involved in gangs. Yeah, I always had people tell me not to be from a gang, but I mean, I've been from a gang ever since I was younger. Like when you're like stuck somewhere, he'll reach his hand out, like Father G, he'll reach, reach out and grab you out of uh, trouble. It's different with a counselor because they never been through what you went through. They may have all these like degrees or something, but they don't know that that little feeling, the little vibe. You know, I could relate to Alex, you know. But he's been through the same problems I've been through, so he he knows how to work with me more faster because this, cause me and him are exactly like how he was. I was too. Like when he says like, when you're chasing someone down, like you're not satisfied till you get that, you know. And a counselor wouldn't know anything about running up and down with a gun like that. He could tell you the words that'll get you back on focus, stuff like that. Pretty much like being a mentor. Well, you know what? Now I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of going to college and you know, this, this, and that. Through his mentoring, Alex has helped many teens stay out of trouble and focus on their future. Those are my kids. Those are, I say my, my I call them my youngsters. I was loyal to my gang. And I'm, I'm loyal to Homeboys Industry. And everybody who's around me, I'm not a homeboy. I'm a damn friend. Hopefully he stays around the homeboys, you know? And hopefully his mentoring and his talks, going to school and stuff like that really goes through. And hopefully he goes, you know, an upper level. Probably even above homeboys. Alex has more mentees than he can count. He doesn't mind because he knows that through his experiences, he can see where some wrong turns may lead to, and Alex doesn't mind showing others the way. This is Ashley Hernandez for Annenberg News.